Hello everybody, Pokemon Trainer Rob here, and welcome back to our Pokemon Emerald Adventure. Okay guys, I am back, I did some item management, got rid of some of the items that were bulging in my inventory, and uh, yeah, now I'm ready to continue. Uh, so before I make some uh, more progress towards the next part of the game, um, I do want to kind of take a little bit of time and revisit the route that I just, um, well not the route I just did, but the route I did on my way to Moss Deep, essentially. I also forgot to use a uh, Repel, so let me just take care of this fight really quick and use one. Um, but now that we have Dive, uh, there's actually uh, some underwater areas we can take a look at. And um, these underwater areas are going to be important uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, for one, the next part of the game will revolve a, a lot around uh, diving and finding some uh, underground areas and passageways. Um, but two, there's actually quite a number of items you can get as well. And um, if you're going for, like, uh, Pokes at Pokedex completions, uh, like I do, uh, this will be very important because you can find some good stuff that can help you uh, get the Pokedex kind of filled out. Uh, so you'll see a lot of patches of uh, deep water. If you see, like, these little shadows, that's usually an indicator that there's an item there. So, hey, we found another hard scale. Yay. <laughs> You couldn't tell, that hard scale is not really what I was looking for. Um, but let's see, go up here to this one. Oh, yeah, you press A, not B. Let's see, in here you can find a big pearl again. So, yeah, you'll be getting quite a bit of money uh, in this section of the game too. So that's another thing, that's kind of nice. Um, so next up, I'm just going to go briefly to this one. Um, I'm trying every single square, but since there's no shadows, that means there's probably nothing here. But hey, I went ahead and looked anyway. I think it was worth it. Uh, but this spot right here... Um, if you go down here, you'll actually see that in these routes, you can actually find some, I guess, seaweed. Uh, this is like uh, grassy areas in other routes. So you can actually find some Pokemon down here. And uh, there are two Pokemon we'll need to add to our Pokedex uh, as a result of that. But uh, not going to worry about that right now because we still have items to find. Um... What was the reason for doing this? I think there's like an item somewhere around here that's worth... Oh, another deep underground area. Um... I guess I'll go ahead and check this out really quick. It's easy to get kind of lost when you're doing this kind of stuff, too, because, again, there's just a lot of different areas. But if you come over here, you can find a green shard. Um, remember, the shards you actually use at the uh, treasure hunter's uh, house to get, like, stuff like fire stones, leaf stones, water stones, and uh, thunder stones. Uh, green shard is the leaf stone, so you can keep that in mind. But, yeah, you can find a lot of the shards through these underground areas, and that's mainly the big reason for why you'd be doing this, if I'm being honest. Also, yeah, this uh, this route kind of shares a little bit of its uh, items with uh, Route 126, which is another kind of nearby route. But yeah, I'll get those uh, two Pokemon a little bit later. I just want to kind of keep moving for right now. While I'm you know, doing all this swimmy stuff. So let's see. Um, I'm just looking to make sure that there's not anything I'm missing. I think this is... Ooh. Another hard scale. <laughs> 
How heartfelt of you. Oh, uh, this is actually a different cave than I thought it was. Not that it matters or anything. So again, I'm going to try to get as much as I can here. Okay, so since Repel wear, wore off right here, I might try to get some of the encounters. I can even find stuff like Calcium down here, too. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and look for uh, some of the stuff we need to find. Well, here's one of them. Here's Clam Pearl. This is the Pokemon I was talking about earlier, where you can use the uh, Deep Sea Scale and the Deep Sea Tooth to, uh, you know, essentially get uh, a new Pokemon if you trade it, ev trade evolve it. What do I want to use? Um, I feel like all of my Pokemon are actually too powerful. It's only level 21. I'll bring out Monstro just because. Monstro the female will. Um, water pull shouldn't do too much damage. That should be good enough. A great ball. Yeah! Uh, but yeah, just to very quickly just kind of talk about this. I already talked about the evolution stuff already. But uh, Clam Pearl is a water type. Has the ability Shell Armor, which means the opponent's moves cannot critically hit. And it's a Clam. You know who really likes Clams? My good buddy. Why is it doing that? I'm hitting Select, which should go to lowercase. I need to re-examine my controls here. I'm naming this after my good buddy Alucard2004, one of my randomizer buddies. He loves clams. Okay, now that just deleted it. I, okay, I, I definitely need to relook at my controls. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah, that's the first Pokemon we need. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to evolve it since... Uh, you need to uh, do trading, and I don't have any other Gen 3 games, so I'll be unable to do that. But yeah, um, you can get either uh, Huntail or Gorbess, and um, hold on a second, let me just... I believe the uh, Deep Sea Tooth will evolve it into Huntail, uh, Deep Sea Scale will evolve it into Gorbess. Um, Huntail is just water type, but it gets the ability Swift Swim. And, um, same thing for Gorbus, pretty much, so, yeah. That's, uh, basically it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut to the other Pokemon we can find here. Um, it may actually take a while, because I believe this Pokemon is, uh, kind of a low encounter rate. Yeah, I think it's only, like, 5%. Clamperol is 65%, so you can find that pretty easily. And the uh, third encounter you can find here is Chincho, the uh, water electric type from Gen 2, and that has a 30% chance of appearing. Uh, but yeah, I'll uh, see you guys when I find uh, what I'm looking for. Okay, um, it took a long time to find this thing. To uh, let you guys know how long it took, it's... Uh, all my Pokemon are up to level 42 now. <laughs> So yeah, it, it took a while. Um, so yeah, this is a Relicanth. The Relicanth is a uh, water rock type. Um, it can have either the ability Swift Swim or Rock Head. Which uh, Rock Head is uh, receive no real cool damage. And Swift Swim, when Rain Dance in effect, uh, speed is doubled. 
Um, but yeah, uh, we need to capture this thing, and this thing is actually kind of important. Um, it's important in the sense that, uh, you actually do need this thing to, uh, find some of the legendary Pokemon, or not really legendary, but, like, some of the special one-time Pokemon that you can only... I, I don't know if they're still considered legendaries or not, but point is, you need a Relicanth, so make sure you get one. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and paralyze it, and because it's uh, pretty defensive, Headbutt shouldn't kill it. Oh, it actually did less damage than I thought. I don't want to use Mega Drain, and I don't really want to use Sky Uppercut either, though. As annoying as it is, I kind of want to just keep doing this, just to be safe. And I kind of feel like this is a Pokemon that you want to, like, um, get to at least red before you start chucking Pokeballs at it. That was a crit. Okay, it didn't take any damage, so yeah, I guess it has Rock Head. Yeah, sure, use Water Gun. That's going to do very little damage to me. Come on, I just want to get one little piece of damage before I try to catch this. I don't like speed falling. I don't like still sleeping either, though. Yeah, don't use Yawn. I'm already asleep. Okay. Now I'll start trying it. Um, I'll try a Great Ball, but I feel like this is another Pokemon you'll want to use Ultra Balls on. Or I could use the Master Ball. No, I'm kidding. Okay, Great Ball still worked. Okay. So, I have no idea what to nickname this. So, if you guys have any ideas, go for it. Probably not going to use it, though, because... I mean, I already have a Water type that's pretty good, so... Uh, with that, we are done with the underwater catches. I really think that is it, too. I think we, there's not really anything else we can get through underwater catching, so... It sounds good to me. Uh, so let me go back to... Uh, we used a repel. Uh, there are some um, things we can look at. Wish you could move faster while you're underwater like this, but unfortunately... Kind of stuck going slow. There's a red shard. Like I said before, a lot of these are just going to be the shards that uh, you can use for the treasure hunter. There's nothing really of major notes in this section. Did I get that? I did. get this? Hmm. Okay, I guess there's nothing right here. You can't even, like, surface there, so it kind of weirds me out a little bit. Maybe it's just kind of showing that there is, like, something on the other side, which, again, we can get that next, so I'm not really too worried about that. But yeah, I wish you could move faster when you're underwater like this. I think that's part of the reason that kind of turned me off the first time I tried these games and made it this far, is just that... Man, it takes so long to do this stuff. Are we going to need to do this a lot? And Truth be told, you really don't do it too much. It's just for these water routes. And Honestly, I feel like there's really not much we have left to do. So, What did I find right there? I kind of talked over it. Oh, it's just a pearl. 
Not a big pearl, just a regular sized pearl. And there's nothing right here either. And then this is the, another one that we can go down. We are underwater. Now we're above water again. Nothing over here, just wanted to show that. And... Yellow Shard! See, we're getting all these shards, and I don't even think we need any at this current time. Because we don't really have any other Pokemon to really fill up the Pokedex with, like, Gen 3-wise. I think the only special evolution we have right now is, uh, frickin' Feebasses. Okay. Oh, oh. You, can't, you can't use a yellow shard to repel wild Pokemon. You can try, but it probably will not work for you. Okay, I think we have one more piece of grass we can look at. I think it's right here. Oh, there actually might be one more. Also, I said piece of grass when I definitely meant underwater. There's no shadow here, but that's pretty obvious that there's something. <laughs> nice try hiding that from us, game. Okay, so let's see. I think there is something right here. Or did I already get this? Huh. Again, it's hard to know if, like, any of this is just, like, the game teasing me, or if, like... Like, I don't think I've already done this, so... I don't think that's it. No, because I didn't do this, so... There's a blue shard. I think we've gotten one of every shard now, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. The good thing is, if we get any more, they won't take off our in inventory because we already have them in our inventory. Thankfully, we're kind of running out of these super repels soon. I think we have one... And I know I said, like, this was the last water spot, but... There is one more. There is one more. And thankfully, this one should be pretty quick, too. And there it is. So here you just have a wide open area. I guess it is actually worth mentioning that um, the uh, Clam Pearl, they're actually a really decent experience uh, gainer because uh, the ones that are like high level 20s and like above level 30s, they'll give you like 500 experience to 700, so. You can get a lot of experience for them if you want to use them. Um, but yeah, that's uh, going to do it for the Route 124 stuff. Which means now we can move on to the next route. And more underwater exploration because that's all this route, all these routes will end up being... Okay, where are we going to go? There's
here's the let me see this is where moss deep is I think down here route 127 yeah this is where this route starts I'm trying to see where exactly this is Okay, yeah, this is... I think this is right. Yeah, this is Route 127. Okay, let's start exploring. Zinc! Oh. <laughs> I got so excited for Zinc. Uh, let me do this. Um, just to make room in my inventory, I'm going to give some of you guys some of these items. I'll give this to Dark Lord for right now. I honestly should use these items soon because I'm getting to the point where like my Pokemon won't be able to gain any more of those values. So probably something I should consider at some point in the near future. Uh, but yeah, just looking at the uh, map here just to make sure I don't miss anything. We do have a double battle here. Ringrose. Yeah, I'll put, I'll put Sig here. I'll put Ringra as well. Bird Pokemon. Oh, bird Pokemon. That's actually not great. Because that's going to be a huge disadvantage for Sig unless I can take it down immediately. Swallow and. Ugh! I don't really like either of these, if I'm being honest. Well, let me do this. I'm gonna... Do that. I'm gonna hope that Rengra can get a nice hit in here. Which he does. Damn, even got the crit, too. That's pretty sweet. Uh, Skarmory! That's gonna be... A problem... I don't like Thunder Wave. Well, since he's already poisoned, or not poisoned, paralyzed. I will just see if I can take him down. Yeah, I'm using Sky Uppercut because um should be neutral. Oh, they're both paralyzed now. But yeah, I would have been neutral because um, fighting strong against steel, but um, flying obviously resists fighting, so... I do not like that they're both paralyzed, though. That's definitely not ideal. Um, I'll just see if I can power through this, honestly. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, God! Well, Ringer's dead. Yeah, there's no block in that. <laughs> There is no blocking that. Uh, put Dark Lord out. Damn it! to freaking lean in. Okay, good. Have to use pursuit here. Surf. Yeah, Lenin can use surf. I mean, Lanoon kind of looks like a surfboard. <laughs> Maybe not the most ideal surfboard, but... Phew! I give up. 
Oh man, those guys actually kind of pushed me a bit there. Quiet. Um, I think there's... I mean, there is a... Oh, but I was able to get there earlier, though, so... Okay, well, while I'm still early into this route... I think it just makes more sense to just heal at the Poké Center, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I went ahead and healed, and then I also did a lot of item management, so I don't have to worry about freaking not being able to pick up items again. Uh, let's continue. Um, I think if you go over here... Eh? Did I just not have... Okay, I just didn't have a repel on. My bad. Let's just get the hell out of here and try that again. Um, bag. Oh, you know what? <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. When I was uh, off screen, uh, the repel wore off. I went to add another one, but then I saved the game instead. <laughs> so that was my bad. Yeah, this is route 126. I don't want to go here yet. We're going to keep exploring 127. Uh, but yeah, you may have noticed this giant trench right here. It's a pretty uh, huge trench. Well, maybe not this one, but the one next to it's a pretty huge trench. I don't think there's really much reason to explore this. I'll go down here really quick just to show it off. this would be the only reason to. It's a star piece, which... Hey, if you're playing Super Mario RPG, that'd be a good find, but... <laughs> this, that is not a game we're playing, so that's not really relevant. So let's go back up here. We have a trainer. Do you have a rival whom you'd hate to lose against? Yeah. Uh, I think there's always, like, that one person who's just like, Ah, I can't believe they beat me. Just make sure it's, like, a healthy rivalry. One that, one that pushes you to get better in a good way. Not get better in a selfish or destructive way. Hey Star You, that doesn't work with Minima that doesn't work with Aerial Ace. Okay, so there we go. You've lost. I think if we go down here. Route 128, not ready for that yet. And I believe this is the last super repel, so we can start using the max ones. Get an extra hundred steps. <laughs> Which is nice. So this is what I'd recommend doing here. You want to make sure you get all the encounters. Oh my god, these routes are so wide. We've already lost that repel, so we're going to start getting into our max ones. So yeah, once again, this is another pretty large underwater trench. Then we have a skinnier trench. First, we'll take out this trainer. Okay. Star you. 
It's a me, Staryu. I don't know why Staryu's talking like Mario all of a sudden, but... Beats the bananas out of me. So let's see. I think we... I think we came up to this. Sorry, I'm just really trying to make sure I cover all my ground here. <laughs> More secret bases. Which I know, I gotta make my secret base. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, secret bases are definitely just one of those parts of the games that you just don't have to do. <laughs> people who beat me. <laughs> I add you to my friends list. <laughs> so you can beat me again. Okay, sure. <laughs> okay. Once again, going underwater. see any hidden spots. Doesn't mean there can't be any though, I guess, but what do we got here? Carbos. Don't think there's anything else up here though. Hey, Carbos, I technically just found one of those not too long ago that I already had to deposit, so I can have to deposit another one now. Okay. So now that we've done that, let's explore this trench. See, I feel like one of these trenches just doesn't have anything. So, like, I don't even know if this is worth it. This one has something, though. It's an HP up. I actually don't know why I didn't swim up here, because it would actually would have taken less time. Sorry about that. Because it'd actually be closer to where I wanted to go. And that will do it for today's video. This has been Pokemon Trainer Rob, and I'll see you guys next time for our next Pokemon Emerald Adventure. See you guys then. Later, folks.